In this screen capture video, I'm going to get you started on the assignment where you're going to look at crime rates across places in New Jersey in 2008. We're using data from the FBI Uniform Crime Reports. Um, it's basically, all police organizations, law enforcement agencies report a number of different types of crimes, the FBI, each year, and they're collated by the FBI. Download this data set. I can go to this link by pressing control and clicking on it. I'm going to get I might get some dialog box. I just press OK and wait for the data to download. The da data should download and open right in Excel. The first thing you need to do is save these data. Um, they're a read-only version right now. I'm going to save it as usual either on the desktop or documents folder. I'm going to save it as the number of the assignment, like that. Now you can see here that there is a row for every single municipality in the United States, or just about. If I can go to, if I press control down arrow, it goes to the very bottom. You can see there's 8,772 towns or municipalities reporting for the entire country from Alabama to Wyoming. Press control up arrow to go to the top. You can see there's a bunch of variables here, including the name of the town, um, the population, and different counts for different types of crimes, in addition to the number of police officers in that particular, particular municipality. Now, we're interested here only in New Jersey, and so we want to filter out all the, all the rest of the towns. To do that, I'm going to do something called advanced filter. In order to do that, um, first note that this data here is already recognized by Excel as a table. We click on Table Tools and see that the table name is UCR, uppercase, Uniform Crime Reports. What I'm going to do is you can press Shift F11 or click on this little button over here, the sun, create a new sheet, and I'm going to create the criteria. I do that by entering the name of the variable and the state that I want the data from. This has to be done very precisely because Excel won't recognize things that aren't exactly the same. So for example, the variable has to be entered exactly in the same way it's entered here, the state capitalized. And since the names of the states are all in caps, I did that here for Jersey. Then I'm going to highlight these two cells here and name it. We talked about named ranges. It's the named range. I can name it criteria. You can name it anything you want, as long as you remember later when you use it in advanced filtering. So this is my filtering criteria. In other words, I'm only looking for towns in the state of New Jersey. You can go come down and create another sheet. You can also press F, uh, Shift F11 to create another sheet. I'm going to call this sheet subset. And this is where we're gonna, I'm going to put that new data for New Jersey. Now, in order to do this, I want to be have my cursor in the spreadsheet for the subset, um, the subset spreadsheet. In other words, I want to be in the place where I want the new data to be dumped. I'm going to go to Data, and then Advanced Filter, Copy to another location, and I first want to enter where I'm getting it from, and I'm getting it from the UCR table, and that can be entered like this to indicate that I want all of that UCR table. I want to get rid of whatever is in that box here and instead enter criteria or the, whatever the name you gave for your um, criteria, the filtering criteria. Finally, I want to indicate where I'm co copying it to and I'm copying it to the subset worksheet and I can click on this red arrow and just highlight the first cell where I want the data to appear. Now once I have all of this set up, I should be in the subset spreadsheet. Press OK. And it's giving me a reference not valid because it, it's a little sensitive and I ended up putting extra stuff in there. So I delete it, go back to the subset space, make sure these is all OK. 
and then press OK again, and here we go. As we're doing advanced filtering, remember Excel is really sensitive, um, and little issues will cause problems. But here, I managed to get only the data for New Jersey. If I press Control down arrow, I can see that there are 490 municipalities reporting. Control up arrow to go back to the top. Now what you can do is delete the original data. Clicking on sheet 1, right click, delete. And I can delete the criteria sheet as well. And now I'm left only with this subset of data. Now the next thing uh, we want to do here is to create a data table with this, these data by again pressing control T okay and I can name this UCR again now let's look just at a, a little bit at how we might calculate a rate because we see in these data there are no rates they're simply counts and if we're interested in a rate, we're looking at basically, if you remember from the reading, the number of events that occur as a proportion of roughly the number of opportunities that exist. Now, opportunity in this case is measured roughly by population. Um, I say roughly because certainly some of these places have a lot of visitors. We take, say, Atlantic City or somewhere along the Jersey Shore, and so there's actually a lot more people inhabiting these places than the population might suggest at any given time. But for now, we're just interested in looking at a rate per population, and often crime rates are expressed as the number of events per 100,000 people, which, as you see in the reading, is equal to the number of events, crime events, divided by the population of a place and multiplied that by 100,000. I'm going to show you how to do that very quickly in Excel. Let's say, for example, we wanted to calculate a murder rate for each town. A lot of zeros, and we're going to get a lot of zeros, but at any rate, as an example, in order to calculate a murder rate, first I want to create a new column here in which to put that murder rate and what I can do is I can highlight click on G highlights the whole column right click and press insert and then it gives me a new column and I'm going to rename this murder rate this is where I'm going to put my murder rate in now in order to c compute or calculate a new variable in Excel when the data are in a data table like this and you're creating a new variable based on old variables all you have to do is enter the formula just one time in the very first row of data and then Excel will do the rest so if you remember in order to get a formula you want to press the equal sign and then in this case I want to think about the logic of what a murder rate is murder rate is going to be equal to the number of murders in the town divided by the population and then multiplied by 100,000 in order to get the number of murders per 100,000. So what I do is I highlight the cells in a logical way. I say murder rate is equal to murder rate of the town. I highlight that divided by, and I use this forward slash for division, population, highlight the population, and then multiplied, which I use an asterisk, by 100,000, like that. Now, if I press Enter, it's going to f should fill the rest of the rows with the murder rate for each town. But note the formula. I didn't have to actually enter in these things. What I did was I simply highlighted not the whole column, but instead the murder rate, or I'm sorry, the number of murders for that very first town, doesn't matter what it is, divided by 
population and multiply by 100,000. And we just see that when I made some slight change, Excel then went through and calculated all of that for me. So remember, when you're doing this, don't get caught up over the specific address of the cell. You want to instead follow the logic of calculating a rate, which again, in this case, is hi highlight the murder rate, or rather the number of murders, divide by population, and multiply by 100,000. And that gives me the murder rate for each of these towns and that's how you would do all of the other rates as well you're going to multiply you're going to take the number of crime events divide by the population and multiply by 100,000